All right, welcome to another edition of Ram Country Conversations. Brian Roth, voice of the Rams, with you. And, well, we're really happy to be bringing in a 2004 graduate of Colorado State and also a member of the CSU Hall of Fame. Of course, we're talking about Martin Laird, two-time All-American golfer at Colorado State. Martin, great to uh, catch up with you. And I guess, first off, congratulations on the PGA Tour win, the Shriners Children's Open, in Las Vegas back in early October. And man, I know it's not easy to win professionally and it certainly isn't easy to win on the PGA Tour. I, I know that had to feel great. Yeah, it, it sure did. It was, uh, it had been a, a nice long break since my previous wins. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of an old man out there on tour now with how young everyone is, but uh, it was nice to get one over uh, all those guys and then uh, pick up another win for sure. Yeah, your first PGA Tour win since 2013. You've won four times on tour, which is an incredible accomplishment. Uh, when you go that long, though, and, and that last win gets a, a year behind you, then another year behind you, then another year behind you, did, did you start to think to yourself, man, it, it, am I going to get to the winner's circle again? Oh, for sure. There were times where you kind of doubt whether you're, you're going to get another one. You know, I my first few, I won every second year. So I won my first one, then two years later, my second one, two years later, my third one. So I kind of thought, oh, this is a nice little trend every couple of years. And then <laughs> seven years later, I still hadn't won another one. So it was, uh, of course, over those seven years, there was times where I'm thinking, man, I don't know if I'll get another one. I mean, you're going to have doubts, but got to keep uh, kind of shoving those thoughts to the, to the back of your mind or out of your mind, really. And I, uh, yeah, started working really hard uh, in the last year, kind of recommitted myself to, to do everything I could and it's nice when you do that and uh, and it pays off and got another one. Can you describe to Ram fans out there what it's like to play on, on the PGA Tour and the grind you have to go through every week and I think most people know I mean if, if you don't make the cut there's no paycheck. Yeah exactly you know half half the guys make the cut half the guys get no money and, and uh, move on to the next week but uh you know, it's a great, obviously it's great. It's, it's the best tour in the world for golf and, you know, it's what everyone dreams of playing on. But uh, yeah, it definitely at times is a grind. And, uh, you know, the travel, travel is the hardest bit. And, you know, I get young kids being away from a family for two, three weeks at a time. It's, it's not fun at all. But uh, yeah, you know, in terms of the competition, it's getting harder and harder out there to standards getting better. Um, you know, the, the age of the guys is getting younger. Everyone's, you know, getting – they're not athletes playing golf. I mean, you just look at all these guys. Everyone hits at miles, and everyone's working out. I mean, we have a workout trailer at a gym that travels with us on tour. And, you know, 10 years ago, Hartland was in there, and now, you know, it's packed every day. It's Everyone's in there. So it's changed a lot. And, uh, yeah, it is a grind, but it's, uh, it's a fun grind when it pays off. And, uh, you know, you pick up a win. It makes all, all those weeks of frustration worthwhile. Yeah, absolutely. Is it is the distance from some of the young guys, is, is that the biggest difference in golf? And obviously the big name with, with distance these days is Bryson DeChambeau. But is that is that the biggest change you've seen in golf since your time when you first got on tour? Um, yeah, maybe the distance, but also just the mentality of these young guys. You know, when I'm 14, 13, 14 years ago when I got on tour, you know, we came out, young guys, we kind of just were hoping to maybe keep our card and – you know, you didn't really have your sights saying coming out and I'm going to win right away and all that stuff. It just, you didn't think that was a possibility. Uh, and that wasn't the mentality everyone had. Whereas now these guys come out, they're not just coming out to try and, you know, keep their card. They're coming out to try and win and they do. I mean, every year, three or four, 20, 21, 22 year olds win in their first year. And I'd say that's, that's the biggest thing I've noticed is no one, no one's kind of, they talk about the Tiger era when Tiger was playing really well. Everyone was kind of scared of Tiger. You know, it was kind of an intimidation factor, whereas no, there's no intimidation factor. Now, these guys come out, they don't care who you are, and they're just ready to go. And I'd say that's the biggest difference I've noticed over, over you know, 10, 12 years ago. All right, so let's uh, kind of rewind a little bit. And I, you're, you're from Scotland. Uh, how did you find your way to Colorado? Say, Jamie Burma was the coach back then, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, good recruiting. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, I got on well immediately with, with, with uh, Coach Barmel when he called me. And, uh, you know, we, we just, you know, I liked him. I, I didn't do a visit. I had never actually even been to the States before. I just, I just said, I'm going to go. I'm going to try it. Um, I was getting recruited by a few places. And as I said, I got a nice scholarship offer from CSU. I, I liked the sound of a smaller town. You know, I was 17 when I came over. I'd never been to America. 
I didn't want to move to a big city. It'd be a little, little too much maybe to take in. But uh, yeah, I came over and, and I always say, you know, loved it. And, and would, if I had the same choice again, I would make the same decision. It was a, you know, anyone that's been there at Fort Collins is an awesome place to go to school and just, just a fun four years. Yeah, you bet. I mean, Fort Collins, it's always ranked right up there as not just one of the best college towns in, in the United States, but certainly one of the best towns in, in general. I, I'm curious, when was the last time you, you were in Fort Collins? Now, now, you and your wife have moved from Arizona to, to Denver, so you're back in Colorado. Have you been up to the Harmony Club? Have you seen any of the new training uh, centers that they have? I, uh, I've been up. I've seen the, the practice facilities in the last few years have been up, but we, were, we went up this summer a couple times with the kids. We took our bikes up. The kids enjoy riding around the campus in the summer when no one's there. And we just like went up to Fort Collins. My wife went to CSU too. So it's always fun to get back in town and, and kind of remember some, uh, some of the good old times when we're back in college. But uh, as you said, it's not just a great college town. It's just a great town in general. So we, you know, as I said, we made two or three trips up this summer and just kind of cruised around the town and checked it out. And uh, it's changed a lot since I was there, I'll tell you that. Uh, in 2004, when I left, it's changed a ton. Yeah. All right, uh, final thoughts. So so you're living in Denver, in Colorado. I think what you said, you moved back here in, in May. How does, that, uh, how does that affect you once you get to some of the, the winter months? Yeah, no, I'm feeling it right now. <laughs> I got a tournament next week. And, uh, you know, I play, I was, it's, it's crazy. You know, I was playing and practicing Saturday, and then obviously this weather hit Sunday. And, and uh, yeah, you know, I'm just, you know, I've, I've got a gym here in my house. I'm just kind of taking these days, get in some extra workouts, staying in good shape. And then, uh, you know, as soon as the snow melts and the range is open, go back out and try and do some practice before I have to leave uh, for a tournament next week. So it's, uh, I knew we were coming to this, so I don't mind putting the clubs away. When it, once my tournaments have finished in a few weeks, I love them. I normally don't touch my clubs for like three or four weeks anyway. I put them away over winter, so that'll be easy to do here. That's right. Yeah, I kind of unplug from, from golf for a little bit and recharge the battery as well. Hey, Martin, thanks so much. I know a lot of Ram fans across the U.S. were thrilled to see you win a few weeks ago in Las Vegas. Congratulations on that and continued luck on the PGA Tour. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. That's Martin Lair, the former All-American for Colorado State and, of course, doing great things in professional golf. I'm Brian Roth. Thanks for watching Ram Country Conversations.